the point of this video is to show you how to properly uh, fill out a data set information on the FEMC website and we are going to do so by uh, showing you an example data set that we're going to go through in detail. The information in the example data set uh, is supposed to be funny so I really hope you'll find it somewhat amusing. Arguably the most important piece of the data set is the data set name itself. Uh, please provide a name that is most relevant to your area of research and try making it as specific as possible. For instance, this data set name is none of those things. We want to make this data set name a little more specific and we also want to know what EWP is. With this being said, we can try um, changing this data set name into something that's more reasonable, uh, such as long-term eastern white pine inventory on Mount Elmore. Uh, this allows those who are viewing the data set name to determine whether this is the right data set for them or not based on the spatial or maybe species criteria they might have. The next field in line is the data set description field. Uh, please describe the data set project to the best of your knowledge using at least a paragraph of about 40 words or more. Preferably the description along with the objective would draw somebody's attention and make them decide whether that project or data set is what they're looking for. Concise and informative is the goal here. So the example we have here is extremely concise and not informative at all. So we want to replace this with something that will be a little more informative. Uh, please feel free to pause the video at any point and read um, the description here. As indicated by its name, the objectives field is there to tell us more about the purpose of the data set. It states what the intended outcome of the research is. In this example, the purpose of this research was to count trees to determine whether they're going to die. No good. We need to replace this immediately. So if I do something like this, and again feel free to pause the video and read the objective. This will give uh, the viewer a much better idea of what this data set is about. The point of the tag section right here um, is to relate some keywords uh, to the data set which will enable somebody who's interested to find this data set more easily. With that being said, please make these tags as specific as possible and try restraining yourself from using generic words such as tree, trees, uh, or forest. For instance, instead of these two tags right here, I'll replace them with tree health, invasive species, Mount Elmore, and eastern white pine, which are all words that are relevant to this data set. Time relevance is really important for any kind of research, so please provide us with a start date and an end date and make sure you let us know whether this data set is completed or whether it's ongoing. The data set citation field is yet another field we would like uh, filled out. Uh, if your work is going to be cited and you would like your name to be on it, please provide us with the citation for the research. Otherwise, the website will automatically fill in the citation field and credit it towards whoever created the project page. Very often, it will be someone from the FEMC staff. For instance, here we can see that uh, a former employee uh, named Bon Jovi, that sounds familiar. Anyway, he created this project uh, and that's why his name is on here, not because he was actually a part of the project. A crucial part of the data set that people usually forget about is uh, the author information itself. Uh, so please make sure if you're doing this to put your information or the author's information um, onto our website so we can access that if we have any questions or concerns about the data set. Uh, you can find who the author is under People tab. And then if you want some more information on, for instance, Mick Jagger, you can find him on our website and see his contact information. Lastly, please make sure that you provide us with any additional information that can improve someone's ability to understand your project in the documents or images section, which is right here. Uh, 
Some examples of material that you can store in this section are reports, articles, uh, journals, images, Excel spreadsheets, notes, anything really you can come up with that would uh, aid uh, some, someone's understanding of the data set or of the project. Please do note that your research does not have to be shared if that is what you prefer, but it is still important to archive your data to protect it from ever becoming lost. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.